Welcome, Bronx, to our eighth newscast for the spring semester. I'm your host, Omar Jimenez. The elections for president and vice president for SGA has already concluded with a winner. Here's Romeo to give you the details. This year's presidential race for the SGA elections was the closest on record, with Erin Barrero and Eric Sanchez winning by a margin of 12 votes over Melissa Vento and Ruben Delgado. I asked Vice President-elect Eric Sanchez how he felt after the results. We went through like a cycle of different emotions. The first was relieved. Um, we had no idea we were going to find out, so to finally hear the results, uh, it was a, a huge, huge rush of relief. And then excitement. Uh, the more and more we've talked about it, the more people we've we've met and been excited. It's been it's been a great thing. With their inauguration just around the corner, I asked both President Barrero and Vice President Sanchez what their plans were moving forward. Really, what we're looking forward to is making sure that we get things done. What we really want to do is that what we set up to do, the five-point plan, our platform, and working with the Senate and working with the students. What we want to do is that we want to make sure that the students know that we're here for them, that working for them, and that we make sure and accomplish everything that we set out to accomplish. The merger with UT Pan Am and UT Brownsville is one step closer on becoming reality. Daniel has the details on this merger. On Wednesday, March 20th, the Texas House of Representatives unanimously passed House Bill 100 calling for the merger of the University of Texas Pan American and the University of Texas at Brownsville into a single entity. This was the final step before being brought to Governor Rick Perry as he can sign the bill into law. The passage of the bill will also create a medical school in the Rio Grande Valley. Following the vote, Governor Rick Perry announced expanding higher education opportunities in South Texas is a critical step in one of our fastest growing regions in our state. For Bronc Radio, I'm Daniel Morales. Hey Bronx, summer, mini master, and fall registration is just around the corner. Remember to get your mandatory advisement out of the way before you register. Registration starts on April 3rd for seniors, April 5th for juniors, April 9th for sophomores, and April 15th for freshmen. Contact the University Academic Advisement Center at 956-665-7120 for more information. So Dr. Madeline Albright wrapped up the current season of the Distinguished Speaker Series for the 2012-2013 season. She inspired many students talking about her connections with her past as an immigrant from Belgium and talked about the many issues that she faced while serving in her position. At the end, students had an opportunity to ask questions that ranged from current world issues to the current gay marriage hearings happening in the Supreme Court. For Bronx Radio, I'm Omar Jimenez. A world-renowned conductor takes a visit to this school. Here's Amy with more. In honor of Festiva 2013, our university opened its doors to world-renowned conductor Alondra de la Parra. Alondra is the first Mexican woman to conduct in New York City and is invited across the globe to conduct orchestras. Alondra worked with our professors and students to create an unforgettable concert, Carnival of the Animals. Alondra also conducted our mariachi festival where various mariachi groups, including our own Mariachi Azatlan, got their opportunity to perform and learn with her. For Bronx Radio, I am Amy Marroquin. With the latest news going on outside this campus, here's Carlos. Hello, Bronx. Carlos Mondragon here to bring you your local, national, and international news. More than 7,000 people were without power Sunday across the Rio Grande Valley. Officials say a buildup of dust and moisture caused the power outages. Mission school districts are buffing security at their campuses, spending a projected $1.7 million in the wake of a recent shootings across the United States. New Jersey gains a new millionaire as pictures surface of a man holding the winning lottery ticket, $338 million to be exact. President Obama is back in the States after a visit to the Middle East. At the last minute, he managed to ease tensions between Israel and Turkey, two key allies to the United States. A $10 billion tech city set to be built in the West African country of Ghana is in development. Hope City is boasting itself to become the technological capital of Africa. Thanks for listening, Bronx. I'm Carlos Mondragon, hoping you have a great day. Thank you for listening to our current newscast. And don't forget to like our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash TV Radio. We would like to thank our station manager, Cassandra Perez, and our radio station advisor, Mr. Fred Mann. Stay tuned for more here on Bronx Radio. This has been Omar Jimenez.